De regreso aquí en Auto 060, una edición especial sobre el evento Nissan 360 en California. Y ahora vamos a hablar con el vicepresidente de diseño para el continente americano de la Nissan, Taro Ueda. Hi, Taro. Um, thank you for having us here at Nissan 360. Uh, very impressive event. Thank you very much. Um, and very impressive cars around here. Um, we're seeing on the Nissan side now. We have like, a few of the concept cars that mm -hmm. have been shown recently yeah. in uh, auto shows. Yeah. And design is something that um, it's very challenging nowadays mm -hmm. because there's like a lot of competition. Yeah. Uh, and the process has shortened a lot, right? I mean, now you have a concept car and then you have to turn it around into a production car pretty mm -hmm. Quickly. Yeah. So, how does that go in Nissan? Uh, I think we go more like uh, one strong uh, design and vocabulary has been already set. So, we are no doubt that kind of design vocabulary is, is go for the future Nissan growth. We believe that. So, it means uh, either it's a show car or production model. So, how do you manage that vocabulary into the unique packages and uh, own characters and etc.? It's a kind of same same challenges, either a production model and shoka. But shoka is more like a showcase to demonstrate more strong design icon for the market. And then it's also we need to own our design vocabulary. Yeah. Rather than you know everybody you know taking. So they have to look at they have some similarities because like do to bring the brand together, but also be very different to stand out alone, right? Yes, that's true. That's the huge challenge. We don't need to show the small Rano or you know, bigger Duke for the next big race. All yeah. uniqueness is very important. But, you know, how to show the, like a brother? It's not twin, it's like a brother. Okay. Yeah, same kind of eyebrow, or same nose, nose or, you know, same kind of character, but every car should have own character. Yeah, its own personality. Yeah, own personality, that's right. Um, another thing about design, uh, we're talking about exterior design, new design, uh, interior design, uh, materials. Yeah. I was just driving the Moco, which is like a very uh, a low mm -hmm. cost car. I mean, yeah. not very expensive, yeah. but interior, like the materials are very refined. Oh, thank so, you very much. Yeah, um, it's very impressive and very challenging. It must be, you know, yeah, yeah, to yeah. like incorporate we, those things because everybody is looking for more, even yeah. with the with the less yeah. expensive cars. We have a, a passive quality team, so-called PQ team. Yeah in design and then they are looking for the not only just uh, uh, durable quality standing point but also uh, more looking for the you know use and touch and, and feel how do you feel the customer through the uh, material choice and the shapes and uh, fit and finish etc etc so color design team is mainly work for the material but same time same team we have a uh, you know nice judgment people there yeah. so we work together understanding the customer's perspective and then also what's the new what's the interest for the for the design aspect so both are working well it goes to a little bit more you know uh, high quality and uh, more consistent uh, approach for each vehicle even in a small vehicles yeah we are dedicated for the you know mainly touching area right anything see, that you can touch or yeah, see yeah yeah and an open the lead and uh, you know anything it's it's we, 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 we manage this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other aspect of a uh, new uh, design or modern design in cars is technology. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of things that go into cars and people are yeah, expecting yeah. to have yeah. GPS, keyless entry, mm -hmm. many features like that. How challenging is that, especially now that technology moves like so fast? Uh, maybe we are more collaborate with the supplier to get more latest technology information. And some of the car companies are doing very well. And uh, we have a little bit behind to see the, the latest technology, especially for the headlamp area. Yeah. So many, many LED technologies going on and then changing significantly. We are still kind of like a catching up mode, but the, we understand our, you know, the weakness. And then how to convey the, the competition is uh, more getting in touch of the latest technology rather than just waiting for the availability of the car. So the designer himself is the antenna should be much more higher, and then looking for the new technology, and then think about how, how do they incorporate that new technology into the next vehicles. Yeah. Either we go for more thin light or more deep light, or even the door handle and the mirrors and every you know the function feature. We can see that from the outside, yeah. the wheels and so that, that's a huge huge opportunity to to having the uh, new technology and then changing the shape. 
Yeah, and the customer sometimes don't really appreciate all the work that goes behind designing a car, right? Because they open the door and it opens, yeah, they yeah. press a button, the radio yeah, is yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. But it's a lot of work for every single detail because everything has to be perfect. Yeah, that's right. So the ha- finally, uh, not only design, but ha- usability standing point and uh, also a durability standing point. Uh, we can work together with the test department and the engineer and make sure that will be available for us. Yeah, so very exciting times to be in this uh, industry, yeah? Huh? I think, as I told you, that uh, we have a more like a brand-centric mode rather than just making the interesting design. So more strategic approach will be very, very important for us. And then again, it's the China or Brazil or sometimes it's uh, maybe Russia is a really a strong uh, demand for the next uh, future car uh, uh, inspiration for us. So very local idea, but going to be more you know global design. Yeah. Because it's also very, very, very challenging. Everybody around the world wants the same thing, right? Like yeah. Good car. Yeah. Look that, good. Yeah. And that, works that well means, and good yeah, value. Speed is very important, and uh, final execution level is also very important. And then maybe you know the brand identity is also very important. So everybody is very, very competitive situation and uh, very exciting to work in this environment. Well, thank you very much for your time and information, and uh, I look forward to see the new products from uh, Nissan, Infinity, and that's and around the world. Okay, thank you very much. You can expect a more interesting you know, show car from our production model introducing from Frankfurt, and uh, 80 years anniversary will be coming soon for the Tokyo Motor Show in this uh, November and se- December timeline. So you, uh, you can expect much thank interesting information. Thank you very, thank you very much. much.